Justin McGrath, and I'm going to be showing you the Zoxbox. I tend to use it for a lot of techno stuff and just sort of a, as a hobby instrument. Um, I do a lot of film scores and random sound design projects, but um, this is sort of the in the playful arena. So I, I tend to just jam on it rather than record a lot with it. So uh, right now I have it hooked up and synced over MIDI with Logic. Um, I also have, I'm taking making use of the DIN sync output on the back of it and slaving the 808 to it. So I'm just going to get it running. Um, the Zoxbox is pretty much a 303 clone. And there's been a lot of other stuff that has said that it was a clone, but this is the, I think the most accurate it's been yet um, in terms of companies trying to reproduce it. They've really looked at the circuit board that Roland made and tried to copy every component and in some cases tried to get the original components that Roland used. Um, so as it turns out, it sounds really close to a 303. I did a side-by-side -side comparison to one and there's some subtle differences you notice, but um, I think it's really just a cool sounding instrument at the end of the day. And it's a lot easier to sequence than a real 303, um, which I'll go over. But uh, here's sort of a demo of uh, the sound. This is just dry TV, TV 303 sound and uh, kick drum from the 808. So I'm pretty much just tweaking the filter and resonance. So you can kind of hear the really standard 303 sounds that you've probably heard a million times. Switching to the sound wave. One of the great things about this is the ability to do some things in real time that you really can't do with the real 303. Um, as far as I know, I haven't really played with one too in depth, but um, you can do real time slide and accent and rest. So I don't know if you can see this in the shot, but pressing the slide button will slide all notes in a pattern. Accent adds the accent to every note in the pattern. And then rest, of course, turns the note off. And you can kind of use that in a, a nice little performance way, just combining all of them. So. So I'm pretty much just hitting slide, accent, and rest in sort of a rhythmic order. So you can do some interesting variations. Um, you can also do shuffling, there's five steps of shuffle. And you can shift the pattern up, um, up and down. So you're just changing the start point. Slightly different sequences. You actually, as far as I know right now, um, at least with the firmware I have on it, one of the great things about this is it ha it's completely open source and there's a couple different variations of the firmware um, that allow different things. Um, let's see. So this is the normal pattern edit mode, which is not slave to MIDI right now, but it's pretty much how I generally work. Uh, I'm just going to find a blank pattern here. I should also mention there's 16 banks to store your patterns. I'm sorry, eight banks uh, with, with 16 patches per bank. So I'm going to find a blank one here. So on a blank pattern, nothing happens. You don't even see the sequencer move. Um, 
basically what you need to do is hit the next key and you are on the first note of the sequence. So pretty much works like the uh, software based 303 stuff that's kind of out now where whatever, um, C, uh, whatever beat you're on, you would assign a note to. So you can just go through hitting the next key to go through the pattern and assign notes. Kind of do this in a random fashion. So there's that. So you can step through once you got that, you hear every note, and then you would go through and assign um, things like accented notes, uh, notes that would slide to the next note, or you can rest a note. You can also change the octave per note, so just kind of do this randomly. So octave down, octave up, down, down, accent here, a couple slides. Kind of as expected. One of the great things though is that you can actually edit the pattern while it's playing in this mode. Um, you pretty much do that by changing the note when the sequence is on that note or changing uh, your octave or uh, slide or accent value. So I like kind of doing this randomly as well. So once you have the sequence, you should have to do a little extra step to save. For some reason, they make you go all the way to the last note in the sequence and hit done twice, and then the pattern saved in that slot. 